let's for all my question did in our previous lecture we all learn about uh, AutoCAD V6 basic setting of drawings in first uh, in our first lecture we learn uh, how to make settings in AutoCAD basic settings basic settings for the drawing before starting any drawing what settings you need to make in AutoCAD so that you can run your work smoothly in our previous lecture we learn how to set units set how to set dimension style how to set text style how to set uh, drawing limits how to make the layers and uh, how to zoom this window in units we explain the uh, we explained uh, some more details of the units we have two types of uh, measurement system in any engineering drawing we have two type of measurement system FPS system and MKS system any matrix system and imperial system further uh, link to this uh, this previous lecture in our lecture number two we will learn how to make walls how to make how to create walls in 2d drawing and uh, uh, how to make space planner you need to put uh, households like beds everything i make already one drawing i'll show you this uh, see before starting any autocad drawing you should need to make some settings that we already learned in lecture number one in lecture number two uh, this we will start about this is small room this is just an example this will help you to make even the larger drawings in future if you will learn this step then we will go ahead here we have some grids we have uh, some uh, some finishing tiles we have uh, here uh, one water closet wc this is the bath this is one room it is uh, 11 feet by 11 feet this is 6 feet by 6 feet uh, there are some furnitures and this is kitchen there are some equipments in the kitchen there are walls hatch and everything is inside so today we will learn how to create these things let we'll start our topic today first you already learned how to make these uh, all layers keep uh, turn on wall layer in the keyboard press press pl or you can directly take pull line from here this this is your pull line or you can use the line even i prefer to use the pull line because pull lines can you can convert pull line in uh, thickness and all things I'll make a uh, room first I will make a small room uh, suppose we have 10 feet by 10 feet room 10 feet enter 10 feet enter 10 feet enter and rotate mouse and C enter this is R1 uh, square it's created is 10 by 10 10 now we'll take the offset of 6 inch, 6 inch to make the walls this is 6 inch we'll put dimension to verify it's 10 feet or 10 feet see now this is 11 feet outside but inside our room is 10 feet our room is 10 feet 10 feet by 10 feet this is the sign of it if it is double this thing if it is double then it means this is the sign of inch here also it is 11 feet so it is square now we will make one kitchen inside you can make kitchen but i will prefer to make the kitchen in front side make the kitchen uh, let's let uh, make kitchen size is uh, eight feet
and seven feet and close it here because this side we have a, we have one wall then press o enter for offset and take six inch offset outside six inch this uh, this this will take it outside but the problem we need to move this one because we need kitchen seven feet by eight feet this to join this corner we have many ways you can extend this line you can stretch this line but normally if you want to quick finish your work there is chamfer command this one you can use it to to join these lines okay it's join already now we will create one uh, our washroom this side washroom with toilet uh, it's combined so it will be seven feet seven feet enter and seven feet enter and seven feet enter now we'll take one uh, six uh, inch offset inside so that we will get six feet we'll get this is little big because we didn't make one wall so we can we can keep it same even no problem but if you want to keep it six feet by six feet just move it little inside and trim these lines tr enter you can make uh, you can enter tr from keyboard and you can trim these lines see now everything is symmetrical remove these extra corners on side this one this we don't need this corner more this to make the wall uh, smooth now we have this uh, room this these are all the walls generally we i will remove this dimension after that we will put these dimensions and everything we will see this is separate line i can trim this line and i can extend this room line up to the corner so that it will be easy to make the dimensions if any line is like this no everything is okay here i can put one uh, for lawn area little lawn will be here this this will be like this to make the walls th there is another uh, good process in the easy process we need now grids in professional drawing always you find some grids as we have grids in this this c a b c d in many area many you will see 100 videos 1000 videos on youtube they are making grids in i'll show you how to make the grid in faster way take the center line of each wall horizontal and vertical these are vertical walls these are horizontal walls see number two wall number three wall number four now take x l enter for extension line make sure you put all center lines click here this is your extension line a reference x reference line this one for x reference line this is x reference line you have center line everywhere now here you can put center line 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 so guys we have now uh, approximately all grids for grid i already make one separate layer as you learn how to make the layers so i have grid lines here i will change it into the grid lines like this i will go to the properties sorry properties and i will increase this scale up to 20 even 20 is less so i will make it 25 so see now this line it's showing that continuous line i can increase more scale it's up to 50 so that it is easily it will be differentiated the wall lines and grid lines now we'll take a rectangular box 
so that we can get rid from extra lines this is unlimited lines unlimited length because these are x reference so this one this one this one and this one now this is these are our grid lines we can immediately do one thing we can uh, make our uh, text here for text i will enter uh, t enter from keyboard t enter and just press any area you will find and make the grid reference a okay and now you can select the circle from here or c enter so here is this is okay this is six inch you can increase the text height up to eight inch so it is now increased you can drag this one to make it little bigger and move it here now guys after this setting we will go to the we will adjust this one little to make it closer and more clear now we will change this one into the text we will move this one from here to here this is a reference for grid A we will make it copy and we will put it from B C D and here we have horizontal grids this also should be from center so we can make copy for these grids also now many people start doing on second phase also i don't prefer to make it on second phase but in any case if you want to make it on other phases you can just mirror it i'll put it here i'll make it control a i'll put it in the center first it should be center sorry this is one mistake this first you will make this circle put this text in the center so that when you will change the text it will not move here and there center then move it into the center exact here is the center now you can copy this text from here 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 and here now you can copy this text from here and put it here here and on all grid lines this grid it's a it is okay this should be b this is for reference this should be c then this should be d and this will be one this will be two this will be three this will be four now do one thing okay always remember one thing always save your drawing each step control plus s or this icon this for save the drawing so i already saved this area now to any time when you will select all things so your all things will get selected together to reduce the conflict make convert this whole grid into the block if you want to make this grid this uh, uh, text reference on another side just press m i enter select this all text go to the grid center line and take the mirror see now it's uh, visible in another uh, side select this all and select the center of any grid line and enter see it's visible on the other side also now select this all uh, from keyboard enter b enter make block give the name it's grid 
okay i i have already one grid so g r i will make grid 2 grid 2 i will take a base point for grid base point will be this intersection point you can take any base point i will select these lines i will select these lines i will select this text i will select this text also and this are are uh, our grid lines are here now in okay, it's are already converted into the block make sure this open open to this one it's open open in block editor always tick this one now click ok so here i'll suggest you one thing because this uh, grid lines are only reference lines so select these all grid lines and change the color color change color it's you can keep a little fade color so that it will not be visible uh, it will not disturb your other lines now i can you can make these uh, move scale stretch everything for this one but i uh, this time i'll not make this one i will uh, make another video for this one it will the video will be go too much long you can press here close close block editor and uh, save save to the grid 2 yes now see our uh, our grid lines are little fade and it's not disturbing anymore now you can remove these center lines immediately to avoid any conflicts now to the next point is uh, as we discussed in previous how to text uh, how to make selection for the text now here i have two two type of text styles i will select drawing for outside and here i will uh, i'll select drawing in first area then i will go to the room plan but i uh, here in dimension style i'll go to the room plan and here i will go to the drawing I will select the drawing text style drawing now i will go to the dimension i will take the linear dimension and i will put the dimension between the grids six feet six inch i will just select this dimension go to the this binding point and continuous dimension see 10 feet see this is our grid lines you can make the same dimension here also and in other side dimension linear dimension here is three feet and you can just select dimension don't click here just bring your cursor here and keep it here it will give you two to three options and then you will select continuous continue dimension go ahead and go ahead now let's press escape to finish the function we have all dimensions here now we can put the dimensions inside the room also but for inside the room I, I this text is too big i will select another dimension style there is another uh, text style that is here in room and i will go to here and i will change this dimension style into room space room plan and then i will go to the dimension again i will select linear and i can make dimension c it's 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 quite smaller than this one it's six feet by six feet always keep the dimension on corner side so that it will not disturb you from the center area this is just to make the confirmation you can put the dimension like this or if your if your wall is solid you can click one time you can you know, press uh, enter second time it will give you the selector box then you can go to the click on line and it will give you the whole line dimension so it is 10 feet by 10 feet now i will go to the kitchen it is 8 feet by 7 feet this dimension will be disturbed when i will cut these all lines so here i will put it is 6 feet 6 inch this area you can convert into the from continuous to this line thumb line because this is not closed area this is just alone 
here increase item to for three and change this uh, this into the and change this from red to white so it will be a little difference put it 25 or uh, put it 15 no problem see now it's it is little different now how to add the text from t enter and you can uh, add text here a room reference see leaving room leaving room you can give the dimension 10 feet by 10 feet here just click this one and make it center control a and this all t here left center right and justify you can increase distribute this all but i'll put in the center and i will move it little because here this is in the wall layer we'll change it into from wall into text now i will copy this text from here to here and i will make it control a but six feet by six feet take the copy from here also and put it inside the kitchen okay move it into the center make it kitchen kitchen eight feet by seven feet now keep always one thing in your mind always put horizontal dimension first and vertical dimension second it means always put your x-axis dimension how you can see see here in the corner in uses x-axis and y-axis always x-axis dimension will be the first dimension and y-axis dimension will be the second dimension now approximately your plan is completed now what we'll do we will insert uh, we will make doors and windows for doors and windows we have we, we can make it manually that i'll show you in another video but here now what i will do i will take a available block doors and windows so that we can insert easily here from your keyboard uh, press control 3 and it will give you the uh, this whole letters you can move it here outside you can zoom it outside and uh, you need 2d window here you have one thing see imperial window and metric window don't take metric if your drawing is imperial am i drawing in case this is imperial because it's in feet so i will take this imperial window i'll just drag and drop it here i will take imperial door i will drag and drop it here anything else i need from here i think no it's enough i it's toilet imperial i will take this toilet also here so any trees or anything i can put it here but no need now i'll close it this time this is door it's also in wall layer i will change the layer i will take it to the door layer this window i will take window into the window layer this uh, will go to the furniture layer i didn't make any sanitary layer so i will take it into the furniture layer up to now now uh, i need some furniture also here that i will install later i we, we don't need this to see if i will select this door it have this rotation arrow i can rotate it like this i can rotate it like this horizontal position or vertical position i can rotate it here see it's open 30 degree i need 90 degree open door so i'll put it like this this is 90 degree for uh, this is 90 degree 
and its dimension is 3 feet 4 inch I don't need 3 feet 4 inch I need 3 feet door now I will make a copy for this one and for bathroom I need 2.5 feet maximum this door is also 90 degree all other for kitchen in this this door is okay now I can take uh, I can make make some finishing here inside this area for this reason uh, what I will do I will save my drawing I will turn off dimension layer so and I will turn off this text layer also and this uh, this dimension is in the wall layer so the problem is this one now I'll select this all select similar so this all will be selected now I will transfer this all into the dimension layer so that let's see this this was a mistake from my side so be sure everything will be in the same layer so there when you will turn off the layer everything will be will not be visible now see this it's block block reference it's also in the wall layer this should be grid lines and I will turn off the grid lines also to make more clear here now I have walls only I will I will uh, put the command ADC for design center uh, here uh, here uh, you will find many blocks see we have kitchen here kitchen drawing we have kitchen blocks in kitchen we have main things microwave phone jack oven range everything you can search many things here this I need uh, focus single handle number one and number two i need uh, this kitchen layout already available here red made seven feet by eight feet so i'll take these two all others i don't need uh, now this time there is refrigerator double sink everything if i need anything i'll come back now here this is the kitchen seven feet by eight feet I'll change this both into the furniture layer. Now I will copy this one. I will take it inside, internal side. I will put it here. So it's exactly fit here. See? Seven feet by eight feet. Our kitchen is ready. I need only one pocket here. So copy this one. And Put it here in center point and make the mirror because it is outer side area. I need it inside Y enter so that it will remove. This is handle and this is here. You can move it little bit inside to make it more practical center so this is our kitchen our kitchen is ready now uh, i just need to make one window here uh, which i have already window here copy copy this window from here to here this corner rotate it this is rotation is zero put it 90 degree it will rotate it like this okay move it you can rotate it 180 degree it will automatically come down side but I'll drag it now this time put it here in the center see it's it's less so here you have 4 inch so take it into the 6 inch because our wall is 6 inch and put it here now we have our window here select this window here and remove this extra cover and everything for window no need to remove this will remove for doors only window our window is ready here this is window this is our uh, burner here and this is space this is our kitchen uh, fridge refrigerator this is kitchen counter top here also this is space for some things now we'll go to make a copy for doors here is the door i'll take this door here 
and I will put it here here I can make the rotation see here is the rotation it's 90 degree it is swing inside swing outside you can swing it you can rotate it simply outside rotate in this area so select this one and select this arrow this one film rotate it inside but it is too big oh we don't need here three feet we will put two feet six inch or two feet eight inch door here we'll remove inside lines so that door have a clear because it's open already so there should not be any hindrance this is our door for kitchen to go inside the kitchen now we need one door here in bathroom area which is here I R O enter select this door rotate it inside here and just press here and rotate it inside flip it vertically take it here and make at least six inch gap from the wall now remove inside lines also here now our two doors are ready one window is also here here we need small ventilator i'll copy this one i'll copy this door i'll put it in the main door here i will rotate it and rotate it vertically now flip it because i don't need this door that open that side door always open to windows this door, uh, wall side select and trim inside areas move it little so that it will not go inside the wall make trim and so on make it save now approximately our room and the uh, kitchen everything is ready our doors are ready now what i will do i will put this this uh, our wc wc you see it's in the elevation or section position you will click just click on this one and here you will with the, the, the small properties window uh, it's open see type of view this is elongated front view no need we need plan here is the plan just rotate it copy and put it into the center here and put one small window here i forget this one it is necessary to put the windows or ventilator here it's also four inch take it into the six inch and this is quite big window it's no need of this type of big window here what i will do i will make it smaller here see it's three feet no need put it two feet and take center take center from here and click so this is our window now i want to make one window here also because we need this in this area we need one window because for room ventilation we don't have anything i put one window here and this corner it's not fitted because it's going outside i will take it i will remove it from here i will make copy i'll put one window here i'll rotate it rotate it manually 
here and you can shift it to the center don't click on the line as I make mistake now should be on corner just take the reference from center now approximately our drawing is ready what we will do next we will go to the uh, furnitures the, because our uh, WC already here our kitchen is ready now we need little furniture here so a D C enter go to the this is kitchen no need more kitchen H we don't need house house design go to the house design you have uh, here uh, bathtub no need we can put this bathtub here in uh, here we can put this bathtub in the in our bathroom we can put this uh, shower uh, pocket then we can put this uh, anything else we don't need anything I think garage door we don't need okay now go to this home space planner there are blocks you will find one chair okay chairs are here and there is bed okay you can put small table also plus because our room is too small so we can put more furniture if you are making a big house then you can put it there select this all change it into the furniture first and uh, people when they are making the drawing they, they, they are changing the size of bed see this bed size check if it is okay because if you will change the bed size or if you will make it more smaller it will it will not be the practical drawing practical drawing you are drawing should be same as the original drawing so whatever in your room it should be the original dimension if your bed is seven feet originally in the market you uh, your bed and the drawing it should be seven feet so that you come to know how much space is uh, remaining in your drawing a copy it is put it into the center here plus this bed is here now this uh, table no need this so i can remove this one i can remove this one this pocket i already put so remove this one this bathtub it's originally bathtub is like this but the problem here our bathroom is too small we can put this bathtub here now i will move this one little this wc i'll move it here I will move it here we have another bath you can put it tray here because this is not big bathroom so we can put tray I will go to ADC and I will go to the house designer blocks and we can put shower tray or we can make shower tray if it's not available here don't worry we'll make here see shower tray how shower tree is make made see take one rectangle and put this is uh, and two feet um, by two feet plus this is our shower tray go so enter put it this uh, uh, two inch enter because i don't want to make any things so i don't want to make anything which is not practical put one from here corner put one little this one this one is exit uh, for the water take this shower tray from here to and put it inside here this corner okay now move it to the next corner because here change from wall to furniture and move this one back to the place because it's exactly reach in front of door which i don't like so it should be here now we can put this shower here this shower it will be here over this area rotate it to make it 
our practical and it is now something it's it's practical now now uh, this area is ready now i can rotate this uh, chair I can rotate this chair here make copy for chair and put it inside here so we have chair one i can make copy put it here mm, two three chairs are enough we don't have more place so we can put anything if you want to put something you can rotate this uh, table and you can just rotate this table and you can put it like this make copy and put it into the corner okay but it is it is it's also not good so halas no need of this one you can make it because table can be small or big so you can make it uh, 0 0.5 half now you can uh, copy it and take it to the corner just to put some some utensils now it's okay here it's it's here yeah, it's okay now now remove this all extra items and you can see it plus this area actually this this area is also it is because this is uh, wet area in wet area always in bathroom people are using tiles so we can show little tiles here for this purpose i will turn off door i will turn off window furniture and uh, this should need to move to the ventilator okay so i will turn off uh, ventilator also i will turn off door and I will turn off uh, furniture. Now approximately everything is okay. We can close this area from here to here. And from here to here because after this we have a hedge. So we will put we'll put little hedge inside. I will make trim for this line will not go outside this window is in wall layer i think this is also in window so it's not going to be finished because window i did not turn off so we can close these all parts open parts like here like here like here here now we can do edge edge command I will select red points here here I'll change it into the block this in say 32 okay and change it into the 25 it is okay now you can change the color little fade okay now here also you can make one edge in toilet area edge enter make it flooring okay edge select edge pattern will be 32 put it uh, 120 uh -huh, okay put it into the 45 so the tiles will come in plus put it into the layer floor finishing flooring okay plus now everything is visible now turn on layers and look how our drawing is looking now 
so this is our practical drawing now see everything is visible this is our dimensions it's moved because uh, we cut some drawings and this is eight feet by seven feet this is this one it's six feet by six feet toilet this is at our area we can do some uh, we can do some work outside here so everything is ready now we can make just little box here outside we can press d enter and put the name here uh, small room plan is small room plan okay make it big and bring it from here to the text layer you can see it make it 1.5 feet so it will be more visible put it into the center here move it and see where it will reach so now it's looking little good but it is too big so i will put it on one feet it's enough okay now to print it control p select here drawing to pdf or if you have any plotter uh, I, meanwhile i don't have plotter this time I select here the page whichever you want a1 a2 a3 and uh, go here this will be in display select it from window window and select this window apply preview our drawing is okay now i can print it okay i'll save it in uh, in the desktop uh, here simple model plan save wherever is your folder you can save in the folder location it is open and you can see this now now it is very good very visible and everything now next we will we will we will start to make it 3d we'll start to make it in 3d or we'll start the estimation estimation for this one how to make the estimation in 2d drawings and how to make estimation from 3d drawings thank you guys thanks for uh, watching this video hope this will be useful for you if you have any question any comments anything you can put uh, your valuable comments we'll reply